What's going on YouTube, Bert here, and in today's video I'm giving you one of my tankiest builds I have ever created in Fallout 76, and this is my full health power armor pepper shaker build. But before we get into the video, make sure you smash that like button with the Fallout 76 Can you can see this, and subscribe for more Fallout 76 content. Let's get into it. <laughs> First things first, the Brotherhood has sent me to a few locations on the map, that way I can demonstrate how strong this Pepper Shaker build is. And for our first location, we are going to be taking on the Ghouls. When taking on these enemies, we will not be sneaking whatsoever, because this is a pure tank build. This build is absolutely ridiculous, and I have made a Vats Pepper Shaker build. And that is a non-power armor build, so if you want to check out that, I'll link it in the description. But this is a Heavy Gunner's Power Armor build. Full health also, so keep that in mind. But we're going to rile up all these ghouls. Bring it on, ghouls. Hello, ghouls. Is there one over here? Yeah, I want you. Bring it on. Smack him. He deserves to smack him. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Gotta be careful, because there's an army behind me. Oh, ghouls. Hello. Hello. Is there anyone downstairs? Is there any... Oh, there's a teddy bear. Hello, teddy bear. A little ginger. Okay. Okay, um, there is some more ghouls. We have some more ghouls. Jesus. What is wrong with this? How many people were in here when they all turned into ghouls? This must have been a party. We can still party, ghouls. Okay. This is still a party. Even though I'm not like y'all. I'm in power armor. But that's okay. We can still dance. Y'all ain't gonna give me rads or anything like that. That'll be a fun time. I think we almost got them all. Oh, and we have a glowing one. Bring it on, glowing one. We'll bring you all up here. Uh-oh. Make way. Make way. Excuse me. All right. This is a non-vats build also. So, be aware. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Just need to reload. It's just like mowing the lawn. Goodbye, ghouls. Goodbye. Sayonara. Oh, glowing one, what are you doing over there? Are you crippled? Oh, my bad. I'll just finish you off. That way, you know, you're not hurting no more, sir. It's the only right thing to do. I will say it would be pretty fantastic if you had a quad version one of these. This one is not quad. I will be showing you the mods and the gun at the end of the video, as or along with the build. Sorry about that. Almost had a stroke. <laughs> But this is the pepper shaker and the build on the ghouls. Now let's move on to a bigger target. The next targets on my list that the brotherhood want me to wipe out are the abominations of the wasteland, the super mutants. And as you can see, they're freaking crazy. They're wild. They're trying to rip my head off. But with the pepper shaker in my hand, that's not possible. Goodbye, mutant hound. Goodbye, super mutant suicider. I know I didn't do that. You did that yourself. But I'm going to take credit. Uh-oh, uh-oh. They're all lined up. Goodbye, super mutants. May y'all rest in peace. Or not. May y'all just burn in hell. Goodbye, super mutants. Bad thing about this gun, again, is why you need a quad. Is that reload kind of sucks? Because it's only 50, man. But it just shreds through any target. What's going on up here, man? Huh? Huh? What's going on, super mutant? He's dead. They're all dead. Is there something down here? Yep. These hounds, they're like, What did you do to my super mutant partners? What did you do? Well, sadly, I, I slain them. Goodbye, you super mutant overlord. You're probably the leader of them, huh? You led them to their death. Now, let's move on to a bigger target. The next target on my list that the Brotherhood want me to wipe out is a very dangerous target. And that is the super mutant behemoth the Undertaker, just chilling right there. He's asleep. I haven't woke him up yet. I'm just gonna, you know, I'm gonna be loud. Hey, Undertaker! Hey, Undertaker! Wake up! Okay, okay, okay. Now we're just gonna do our thing. Gonna hopefully cripple his legs. Yep, yep, there we go. Sorry about this, Undertaker. You, you were great in your past life, but this life, you were not. I'm, I'm sorry, can I get an autograph? I, you know what, I'm sorry, I'll just, I'll end it. And just like that, The Undertaker is no more. Now, let's move on to a bigger target. The next target on the list that the Brotherhood wants me to take out is the Myler Queen. 
the Mirelurk Queen has been sending little Mirelurks up there to Foundation and have been, you know, harassing the people, and I gotta put a stop to that. But, I will say, this gun will not kill her super duper fast, but it will cripple her, and it will keep us alive and safe and sound, we'll be good to go. So, with that being said, I am crouched, but who cares, who cares? See, she is crippled now, so now I don't have to really worry about her rushing me, smacking me. I do have to worry about her little partners real quick. Goodbye, guys. Sorry about this. You know, it's my plasma pepper shaker. You know, I have to do demonstrations, and you're my targets. You, you have to go. You have to go. I'm sorry. You're voted off. My other queen, I'm going to need you to get out of the deep end, please, and thank you. Like I said, it's not going to do a ton of damage unless you have the right pepper shaker. This definitely isn't the one that you're going to do <laughs> that you're going to want for damage, but it's still doing massive amounts as you can see. And plus, I mean, I was completely safe. She wasn't doing nothing. Except these little things, where are they? By the way, if you didn't know, get attacked by these and that's how you get the whoopies to get your atomic points, the little disease and all that stuff. Get off me, my lurk. Get off of me, my lurk. So if you're ever wondering how to get the whoopies, or how do, I, how do I get my atomic points for that? That is how. Just sit here and get attacked by these diseased... I think it has to be a diseased one. But get attacked by these, and uh, yeah, you'll get that disease. But that's the demonstrations, and you've seen how well it worked. It, was a pretty, it did pretty great. It uh, definitely stopped all of its targets in its place. May have not done massive amounts of damage like a legacy does, but it definitely does damage. And with that being said, uh, let's get into the build and the gun and all of its mods. Starting off in the build, this is my base stats. These are all my base stats without the legendary perk cards equipped. So if you want to build the exact build I'm using, this is the start. Now let's get into the legendary perk cards. Over in the legendary perk cards, these are all the legendary perk cards I have equipped. They're not all max, so there's definitely some room to grow here, but we do have the endurance card maxed out, luck at two stars, strength at one, intelligence at two stars, far flung fireworks at one star, and electric absorption at one star. Electric absorption and far flung fireworks are not necessary. I just use those for my own personal benefits. But the other cards are going to be what's making up the build I'm about to show you. And with that being said, let's get into the normal perk cards. Over in the normal perk cards, I'm going to start off by saying this is a hybrid build. I have a mix between shotgunner perk cards and heavy gunner perk cards in this build. So, with that being said, Starting off in strength, we have 15, and this is so we can have Traveling Pharmacy maxed out because I do carry a ton of chems on me. Then over here, we have all the Shotgunner and Heavy Gunner perks that we can have maxed out and put in here to get the max amount of damage out of this build. If I was to take away Traveling Pharmacy, I could max out all these cards, but even if I was to do that, I would just throw in Blocker because I do get a ton of damage already just like this. Over in Perception, we have Skeet Shooter maxed out. Your shotguns have excellent accuracy and spread, which is amazing because we're not using vats or anything. Then we have Endurance at 7, Life Giver maxed out, gain a total of plus 45 to your maximum health. Then we have Fireproof maxed out, take 45% less damage from explosions and flame attacks. This is from the uh, Suicide Bombers and Scorch Beast attacks. Then we have 9 in Charisma, and this is a solo and Lone Wanderer build, so we have Lone Wanderer maxed out. When adventuring alone, take 20% less damage and gain 30% AP regain. Then we have Filled Surgeon. Stimpaks and Radway will now work much more quickly. Now this card is amazing, I'm not going to lie. Then we have Tenderizer maxed out. Make your target receive 10% more damage for 10 seconds after you attack. Over Intelligence, we have 7, and this is so we can have Stabilize maxed out. In Power Armor, Heavy Guns gain excellent accuracy and ignore 45% armor. We have Power User at 1 star. Fusion Cores now last 30% longer, and in Power Armor, this card is absolutely amazing. We have First Aid maxed out. Stim Packs restore 45% more lost health. Over in Agility, we have 14, and this is so we can have Action Boy maxed out. Action points regenerate 45% faster. We have Enforcer maxed out. Your shotguns gain a 15% stagger chance and a 30% chance to cripple a limb. We have Adrenaline maxed out. Gain a 10% max 60% damage for 30 seconds per kill. Duration refreshes with kills. Then we have Dodgy maxed out. 
Avoid 30% of incoming damage at the cost of 30 action points per hit. Over in the luck, we have 11, and this is so we can have Bloody Mess maxed out. 15% bonus damage means enemies may explode in a glory red pace. Then we have one gun army maxed out. Heavy guns gain a 12% stagger chance and a 12% chance to cripple limb. This card mixed with enforcer makes this build a crippler. Like straight up, as you can see that Mylar Queen and, and the super mutant behemoth undertaker. Oh, poor guy, poor guy. They could not move after they were shot right in the knees. You know, it's a uh, plasma cartridges to the knees now. Then we have Ricochet Max out. Gain a 18% chance to deflect back some of your enemy's ranged damage. This card helps out a ton with defense. A ton. Then we have Starch Deans maxed out. You'll never mutate from rads and right away will never cure your mutations. So this is the entire build we used for the Pepper Shaker. This is one of my best Pepper Shaker builds. And it is a tank. I love it. it this can stand just about everything. So with that being said, let's get into the gun and its mods now. Over in the weapon, what I decided to do for the demonstrations is use my plain Jane Pepper Shaker. This Pepper Shaker has no legendary effects whatsoever. Just to show you with the right build, this gun can be absolutely devastating. And if you do have any legendary effects on your gun, it's just going to get even better. But over in the mods, we do have a few of them. Starting off in the barrel, we have the dual barrel, improved rate of fire, and improved damage. This is the one I would use if I was using my non-power armor build, and like if I was using invats and stuff like that, this is the way to go. Then we have our hex barrel, this one has superior rate of fire, and has a decreased damage, just by barely though. And this is the one I'm using just because I'm not in vats, and I feel like I'm holding the line, you know, I'm front defense. So this is the one I'm going to be using so I can just spray the targets. Then we have our single barrel, which fires more pellets per shot. I don't know what this one's good for. I can't find a good reason for it. I don't like it. Sorry. Um, I might eventually will find a good reason for it. But right now, not today. Not today. Over in the magazines, we have our standard magazine. This is how it comes. And this shoots shotgun pellets. Then we have our laser magazine. Adds energy damage and changes ammo type to fusion cells. This one and the plasma magazine. They do the same damage. It's the same thing, just different cartridges. This one adds energy damage and changes ammo type to plasma cartridges. So, with that being said, just choose whichever color you like more. Then over in the sights, we have two sights. We have our senior sights. This is how it comes. This isn't actually a mod, so I don't know why I said two sights. But then we have our gunner sight. This is the way to go. Better focus and sighted accuracy. And over in appearance, sadly we don't have any appearances yet, but this gun just came out, so hopefully we'll get a skin soon. But this is the Pepper Shaker that I used and all of its mods. Now let me show you how to get the mods. Now that you have your Pepper Shaker in your build, the way you obtain the mods for this weapon is you have a few options. First, you can either max out your reputation for the Raiders or Settlers. And if you max out the reputation for the Raiders, you head over to the Crater and talk to Mortimer and you can purchase it from him. He's a gold bullion vendor. Or if you max it out for the settlers, head over to Foundation and talk to Samuel. He will also be selling the mods. But if you want to bypass that and it becomes super duper easy, head over to Vault 79. This right here is the location to go. Once in at this location, say hi to everyone. What up Secret Service? How's it going? How's it going? They're super sketchy people. So just make it quick. Make it fast. Come over here. Talk to Rex. What's going on Rex? As you can see, he has the Pepper Shaker mods. I've already purchased them, but they're 200 gold bullion. So, this is everything you need to know about the Pepper Shaker. This is the perfect build to use, especially for you tanks out there. But if you enjoyed the Fallout 76 content and you want to see more, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe for more Fallout 76 content, and guys, I shall see you in the next one. Peace.